protests cost economy $1 billion. Black Lives Matter protests are expected to delay the easing of COVID-19 restrictions by at least a week potentially costing the economy more than $1 billion and preventing tens of thousands of people getting back to work. The Australian can reveal the National Cabinet, which will meet on Friday, is likely to ditch plans to adopt a more rapid scaling back of social restrictions pending an evaluation of whether the rallies triggered uh, coronavirus outbreaks. There you've got it, Lisa. You've got a situation where, despite being warned by premiers and Prime Ministers uh, at the weekend that they shouldn't go out in March, although the State Premiers put up very mealy-mouthed opposition to it, uh, they went ahead and did it anyway and now risk costing the country a billion dollars. We all saw those pictures. 30,000 people on the streets. There was no social distancing. Look, at the very time 30,000 people were marching shoulder to shoulder almost through the streets of Brisbane alone, I was trying to get into a cafe where we had a booking and I had to give my name, my email address and my phone number. Now, I can understand why cafe operators, restaurateurs, businesses are so fed up because you look at the mob of people on the streets and yet here they are having to keep a meagre, what, 10 people in their restaurant, 20 people in their restaurant? Wherever you are in the, in, the, in the country, it's different. You can completely understand why they are at the point now of just saying it's just ludicrous, it's frustrating, and what we're going to do now is sit, sit through a very uneasy period of two weeks where we need to wait, wait out, play a horrible waiting game to see how many, if any, of those protesters are now going to test positive for COVID. You know, we've got the health authorities who are saying they need to self-isolate and if they are showing symptoms, they need to get tested. Are they going to obey by that? I, you know, who knows? And the other point to make is in, in South Australia, the police commissioner down there has come out today and said, look, there was the protest on Saturday, but there is no way that I'm allowing an exemption on restrictions for a second protest to occur on Saturday. So while we, we all respect the right to protest, we all respect the right to, for the, for the indigenous, indigenous Australians to raise the issues that they're raising, and we're not against that at all, to do it at this time when we have businesses and we've all been locked down and we're only just starting to come into some sort of normality again, it is infuriating.